Barely five months after the launch of the Oppo Reno, it seems like the company is about to launch the second generation Reno smartphone really soon. And Samsung is going to introduce their brand new mid range smartphone, and it is called the Galaxy A30s and the A50s. Stay tuned to find out more. OnePlus is about to launch their very first TV and it is called the OnePlus TV. The company aims to set the standard for future smart TV products with a higher quality display as well as a design that's worth viewing even though the TV is turned off. And according to the CEO of OnePlus, the OnePlus TV will be launched in September and it will be made available first in India. He also mentioned that the company is working hard to launch the OnePlus TV in North America, Europe and China as soon as they can establish partnership with most local and regional content players. The highly anticipated Redmi Note 8 as well as the Redmi Note 8 Pro will be launched on the 29th of August 2019 in China. For now, we know that this device will come with a quad camera setup that features a 64 megapixel main camera from Samsung. And now we know that Redmi will be using the latest processor from MediaTek that promises incredible gaming experience. As revealed on Redmi's Weibo account, the latest Redmi devices will be running on a MediaTek Helio G90T processor. In terms of performance, the MediaTek Helio G90T chip claims to record more than 220,000 points on Antutu benchmarks. That's higher than the Mi 9T which is powered by a Snapdragon 730 processor. When the Penang Smart Parking System was launched on Sunday, this app is only available for iOS users. And if you are an Android user, don't worry because this app is now officially available on Play Store. At the moment, we can't seem to search for the app on the Google Play Store but you can download the Penang Smart Parking app by scanning the QR code here. And you can also click the link down in the description box below. In case you have missed it, they are giving 5 ringgit credit for the first 10,000 users, so you better be quick. Shortly after introducing the Galaxy A10s, Samsung is about to give their Galaxy A50 and A30 a refresh by introducing the Galaxy A50s and the Galaxy A30s. The Galaxy A50s looks similar to the current Galaxy A50, but it now features a new back design with a geometric pattern and a holographic effect. This device features a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus display, an Exynos 9610 processor with up to 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. This device also gets a triple camera setup that consists of a 48MP main camera, an 8MP ultra-wide angle lens as well as a 5MP depth sensor. And now let's talk about the Galaxy A30s. So just like the Galaxy A50s, this device comes with a 6.4-inch display but the resolution is now HD Plus. It also gets the same processor as the Galaxy A50s but it is only mated to 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. This device also gets a triple camera setup that consists of a 25MP main camera, an 8MP ultra-wide angle lens as well as a 5MP depth sensor. At the moment, we do not have the pricing and availability details of the Galaxy A30s as well as the A50s so we shall stay tuned for more updates. Oppo is about to launch the second generation Reno series. This device will be launched on the 28th of August 2019. But way ahead of its official launch, the company has dropped some clues of the upcoming smartphone. It appears that this device will come with a quad camera setup. According to its TINA certification listing, the device will feature a 48MP f1.7 main camera, a 30MP telephoto camera, an 8MP ultra-wide angle lens and a 2MP shooter for depth sensing. Oppo India already has a teaser page for the device and it reveals the telephoto camera's 5x hybrid zoom capability. To get even closer, it can go up to 20 times digital zoom. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that you be informed whenever we post a new video. And remember to check out our latest video here. And also last episode of Ichimi here. So that's it from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!